What's going on? <laughs> Sitting here chilling on a Saturday, had a YouTube video playing, you know, drinking my, my morning go juice, hanging out, same old, same old, right? Then everything stops working. No traffic is being passed at all. I call John because it's his router. And the last time that this happened, the router, the power supply on it, like blew up or something. So call him like, Hey, the router died again. And he messages me back. Like, um, I can get into it. I'm like, Hmm, what? Cause I can't <laughs> nothing. So he's heading over there. Now he's a lot closer to it than I am. Um, I was actually heading over there and that's when he texted me and said that he could get to the router and stuff. So I thought maybe it crashed and rebooted or something like that. So I'm like, well, I wasn't very close to the data center yet. So I'm just going to turn around and go back home. Maybe it's working now. No, it's not. So he's heading over there still. He'll be there in about 10 minutes or so now. Um, yeah, I got people calling me and emailing me and messaging me and everything else. Like, you know, WTF, which is the absolute worst, but yeah, no traffic being passed at all. And I can't get into the router while he can't. Hmm. And now that I'm here and he's almost there, uh, I just kind of have to wait, <laughs> which sucks. In other news though, um, getting another subscriber tomorrow hooked up and there's another subscriber that's going to be hooked up here soon. So that'll put me right at, um, 21, not counting my two, um, rack space rental people as well. So it's kind of a milestone. It's pretty awesome. And it's actually growing rather quickly. Now I, I, well, I mean, quickly for me <laughs> hooked up two new ones last weekend, and there was supposed to be two new ones this weekend, one of them postponed, but so four in two weeks, that's, that's good stuff. If I could keep that up, I'd be real happy. Word of mouth is spreading still nothing. And it's really weird because he said he could get to it. He said he even saw ARP traffic from my radio, the one on my house. So if it's getting to the router and the router isn't forwarding it, something's wrong with the router. Why that would just all of a sudden change? No idea. That's very strange. Usually stuff like this, once it's up and running, it, it kind of just stays that way for the most part. Um, things do happen, of course. I mean, exhibit a, but generally stuff, once it's up and connected and stuff, as long as you don't monkey around with it, it's, it's pretty stable. Ugh. Sucks. What did you just do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just got the cable plugged back in and everything, and I'm just rebooting the switches and shit for good measure. Well, it, it came back up. What did you, what do you mean you plugged it back in? The, you know how there's two cables up on the roof? Yeah. So, just for some reason, it's te the other one was testing okay, but like internet works down here, but not up on the roof. So I'm like, God, ah, fuck it. I crimp the other cable anyway. So I just used the backup cable and plugged it in. And. Now I just rebooted everything, so yeah, give it a minute. And <clears throat> no, every, everything's, everything's pinging now. It works fine. Oh, okay, cool. But so the cable just suddenly died. I guess. But my tester said it was good, but I'm like, that's the only thing that makes any damn sense is that cable. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> So I used the backup cable, and so now you're uh, you're back up too. So you're good. Um, yeah, everything's fine. Awesome. Cool. Why in the hell would the cable just suddenly die? That is the most off the wall shit I've ever heard of. Well, we got like a whole flock of pigeons up on there. <laughs> True. <clears throat> I, can, I can tell the cables like been picked up, but I, I don't see any like big insulation missing or something like that. But so I, I guess I, the, I, 
I guess the I only people. yeah. And um, what I'm thinking is instead of having like these things crimp like halfway, I'm thinking of just pulling a new uh, cable up there so we can have a solid piece of cable all the way to the PoE switch instead of spliced in the middle. What is spliced? <laughs> what? Remember the cables weren't long enough to go all the way over to where our new locations are at? Yeah. So we well, have it. The, the one was yeah. on mine. Well, I think. no, it was actually going to the, the PoE switch all the way over to yours. Hmm. That was a new cable. I I honestly don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember splicing things. That's well. You, you guys just took off to the relay house. <laughs> I ended up doing all that stuff. Ah, okay. <laughs> all right. I see. Well, yeah, we're we're probably going to need to um, fix that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a backup cable for sure. Yeah. Um, so, we can do that. I can actually have the the other guy that's down there help us out if you want. He's the one that helped me run the cables in the first place. If you want him to just come out where where the other ones are, we can run yeah, long we can run longer what ones. What we can do is that cable that we're now not using. We can just use that as pull cable. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, so yeah, we can if we're, just chop it up for jumpers or some shit later, but yeah, okay. Um, I gotta head out to Mesa for an appointment. So I mean, if he doesn't work on uh, weekends, we'll see. Uh, we can knock it out probably Monday or Tuesday or something. Yeah, that works. Um, right. Yeah, well, I mean, if we're just gonna pull one through, we don't even need him. We can just yeah, really. we, yeah, we can use the the backup one that's there now. That can be the main one. The one that died, we can just use that as a pull through and run a new backup, and that'll work fine. Yeah, if you as long as because apparently you know, cables uh, just uh, randomly dying is a thing. Do what? Say it again. Yeah, if there's no zip ties or anything above on the in the ceiling or anything like that. We could just pull it straight through. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, actually, we will we will need his help because it's on the other side of the cage. He'll have to at least like let us in. Oh, okay. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll email my dude and let him know that we need to swap out a cable. But uh, yeah, we can do that sometime next week. That's yeah. that's cool. Isn't that nice thing with the uh, ubiquity tough cable? It has a steel mesh underneath the jacket. So that way, if critters pick away at it, they, they got to pick through a steel mesh. <laughs> nice. Do you have any of that? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all that I use. Oh, okay. So, that's cool. Well, yeah. this this made for a... Get their teeth broke off on it. <laughs> I didn't know pigeons had teeth. But, uh... <laughs> well, I said mice. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear <laughs> I'm but still thinking pigeons. Pigeon <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, this made for an interesting video for the week, so that's good. <laughs> now I have to go email everybody and text everybody and message everybody and all that shit. So, but hey, I appreciate yep. it, man. Thank you very much. That was uh, very strange. <laughs> very strange. Yep. Have a good one. All right, you too. Yep. So, apparently, for those of you that missed it, the cable died. No idea. No idea. I've never heard of a cable just randomly dying before. Not like that, at least. It's not like it's moving or going anywhere. Uh, like he was saying, maybe a pigeon or something got at it. I don't know. So there you go. Disaster averted. We're uh, we're passing traffic again. Everything's all hunky dory. Not a whole lot of traffic because people don't know the internet's working again. But you can see a little bit. I had um, pings running, so as soon as it came back up, I could see the the pings reply. And look, I'll show you guys a little trick. 
I learned this in the Marine Corps when we had stuff go down all the damn time. Turn around, you bastard. There you go. If you do like this, tack T is the flag for um, continuous ping. And then you do, I'll, I'll usually have one going like to the router. So you'd go whatever to the router or router, whatever. And then you'd have another one. I'd have one go to like 8.8.8.8, which is Google's DNS or 1.1.1.1. The idea being you want a ping going to something in your network that you can't reach that you need to and something outside of your network that you can't reach that you want to, like the DNS server. So if the internet's down, 8.8.8.8, it'll say, you know, timed out or destination unreachable or whatever. And then as soon as it comes back up, you'll get this. Um, and then have one set to your router or something else in your network, and you'll know you're getting that far. So I hope that made sense. <laughs> Basically, you'd have two continuous pings going, ping tech T, one to your router or something in between you and the internet that's on your network still, and another window going with something to um, like 8.8.8.8 or 1.1.1.1 or uh, google.com or you know whatever, something on the internet. That way, as soon as the internet comes back up and you have connectivity to the WAN, you'll see that you'll see it pop up on the google.com one or the, the DNS server one or whatever. But if you don't get connectivity back to the WAN, but you get connectivity back to your router, at least you'll see that. So that's what I had going. As soon as he plugged it back in, I saw it come up. Now I get the uh, glorious job of messaging everybody and telling them, sorry. A uh, big takeaway is always have a secondary cable run because apparently cables die for some random reason. I never would have thought the damn cable would just up and die like that, but it did. So, yep, live and learn, right? Again, huge thanks to uh, John. He beat me there and, and tipped the other spare cable and got everything back up and running. So, John, again, you're the man. Anyway, be sure to like, share, and sub, and all that happy horse shit. You know the drill. You do. Later.